explain we are going to explain about json the full form of json is javascript object notation what is this before this we are just using xml why we are moving to this and what advantage of json over the xml is now we are going to discuss okay if you are watching or viewing any website it must be carrying some data from server if your website is dynamic dynamically website or a static it will but your website contains some server based data okay how data come from the server if you are creating a website you must to know about the static and dynamic what is static static means it's just the object you are seeing it's just the object is not going to get data from server to client end it is just showing a website it contains some images some reader formatted and if you are going to create a admin panel you must be a creative and your website must be contain data from the server and it's it's already a changeable data what what the means of changeable data it means it getting data from server to client client to server it's just a rule of response and request if you are requesting to server then server respond to you and json what the json is if you are creating anything that containing data from server it must use json okay if you are creating an or application if you are creating website if you are creating windows application if you are creating ios application whatever it may be json is common to all okay so in json json is a data driven lightweight format json is lightweight data driven format so what and how we can use json it's not too difficult see i am going to disclose some the hidden secret of json in this video so be careful be over here see start to end video complete video then only you can understand what the json is and how we are can going to use the json in any any format in any platform whatever it may be we can use json okay so this is object hello process it is not good why now what happened is if you are storing some data if i am storing a zero over here then what the zero is and what the hello is hello is a key and zero is a value so if you putting some value to your database and storage any storage i'm not talking about the particular database in any storage then you must have a name of your object or uh, equal if, if you are a programmer then you must know the value of data type means if i am declaring in c int a equal to 5 then a and 5 is a must available over here but you no need to explore or explain the data type for this 
Okay, now x is 3. Now what we are going to do? We are converted as a num. Now see what will happen. It's done. The problem. Okay, it's a single value. Let me assume a status. Okay, it's a single value. Now we are going to work as a multiple value in a single object message msg for short form message that ok we are getting a single object with a multiple key values now what we are going to do is create an array. It's an array. Now see the problem. Now we can create a multiple thing. Use comma status one. Mouse. See, the third problem. If you have problem, then please comment us. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is create it as a single mouse. It's showing here. Why? because it's confused with two if you are creating if you make like this then you won't get any error so, when you are getting error okay so remove this remove this now what i'm going to do is I think it's going to be why not call okay it's telling not call and it means what drop is wait a while Now you will see it's showing error over there. Okay, so now how we can do that error? Just make array over there. It's containing an array. array. Okay. Also, all the possibilities of getting error and how to remove that error through that simple logic. Okay. So you've seen a various type of gestion. Okay. Now I'll create a one more possibility over here. Work scroll standard fast you got sixty percent of our Okay. 
question from class 1 to now vice versa 19 Medical content to work for us. Okay, last. It's work, it's school, it's medical. Okay, how simple is it? Now, how to get data? Let me show you something. 